In this test, we estimate the coefficient of restitution. Uh, in this test, we use high-speed camera, the one that we set uh, in front of the rock surface. And then uh, we have a rock that we drop down and it hits the rock surface and then it bounces here. Uh, what we need to do uh, with the high-speed camera, we need to measure uh, the velocity of this rock before it uh, hits. So it's, this is going to be PRE and after it hits the surface. So this is post. So that's why we need to high speed camera because the experiment is very quick. And we also need to uh, measure the distance that uh, we, we use this paper behind the, this is paper we set up uh, behind this and uh, the whole surface and rock experiment. And um, um, this is how we get the parameters. So this is the rock before it hits the surface. Here it hits the surface and there it bounces. So we need to estimate uh, these velocities and these velocities VI, we're gonna use to estimate the kinematic uh, coefficient of restitution. Then uh, when we get normals for the velocity here and uh, here, so these values, we can uh, estimate uh, normal coefficient of restitution. And uh, the one that we use very often for um, uh, rock fall analysis, it's uh, tangential coefficient of restitution. So in this uh, case, again, uh, we need to know the velocity uh, before the rock um, hits uh, the surface and after it hits the surface. And for most of the coefficients of restitutions, uh, the values will be less than one. So it also depends on the uh, hardness of the rock surface and the rock. So the hard the rock and the rock surface, the higher the coefficient of restitution will be. But typically it will range from 0 0.6 to uh, 0 0.8 for uh, fresh rocks. If we have soft and weathered rocks, the coefficient of restitution can actually um, drop to let's say 0 0.4, 0 0.6.